Hello, everyone. Welcome to Island Smart Words Grade Six. Today, we will study Unit Eight, The World Around Us, Review Eight. Let's get your student book, page one hundred to one hundred and one, and workbook, page sixty nine, to get ready for the lesson today. In this lesson, we will review. To talk about what to bring on a trip, discussing plan for a trip, and giving advice about visiting natural wonders. Before we get started, let's review some vocabulary we have studied. Look at the pictures. Do you remember these vocabularies? Let's review with me. Number one, battery. What is number two? Right, bottle water. Number three, what is that? Flashlight. Number four, pillow. Number five, towel. Number six, sleeping bag. And number seven, tent. Yes. Let's move to listening. Ở hoạt động nghe này, các con sẽ có năm bạn ở đây và những thứ các bạn cần mang cho buổi cắm trại. Vậy các con sẽ nghe xem những bạn này sẽ mang theo vật gì. Ví dụ mình có Julia. Julia sẽ mang theo map. Nên mình sẽ write letter D ở đây. Và còn lại các bạn khác sẽ mang gì. Chúng ta sẽ cùng nghe qua tất cả những danh mục ở đây xem các bạn mang những gì đi theo. Listen carefully. Let's go. Unit 8. Review. Track 70. Listening. You will hear some information about a camping trip. What will each person bring? For each question, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Right. Do we have everything for the camping trip tomorrow? Who's bringing the map? I am. Thank you, Julia. And I'm bringing some bottled water so we don't get thirsty. Good idea, Ben. That'll be useful for us when we go hiking. Should I bring a sleeping bag? No, that's okay, Edward. I'll bring sleeping bags for everyone. Bring a flashlight so we can see at night. Okay. What about tents? I can bring the tents. Oh, thank you, Meryl. What will you bring, Heather? I'll bring batteries for the flashlight. Oh, and someone needs to bring snacks so we don't get hungry on the bus. I'll bring snacks. Thanks, Steve. Now, listen again. Right. Do we have everything for the camping trip tomorrow? Who's bringing the map? I am. Thank you, Julia. And I'm bringing some bottled water so we don't get thirsty. Good idea, Ben. That'll be useful for us when we go hiking. Should I bring a sleeping bag? No, that's okay, Edward. I'll bring sleeping bags for everyone. Bring a flashlight so we can see at night. Okay. What about tents? I can bring the tents. Oh, thank you, Meryl. What will you bring, Heather? I'll bring batteries for the flashlight. Oh, and someone needs to bring snacks so we don't get hungry on the bus. I'll bring snacks. Thanks, Steve. Let's check the answer. What does Ben bring? He will bring bottled water. What does Edward bring? He will bring flashlight. What will Meryl bring? She will bring tents. What will Heather bring? He will bring battery. And what will Steve bring? The last one. He will bring some snack. Let's listen and check for number one. What does Ben bring? Yeah. Thank you, Julia. And I'm bringing some bottled water so we don't get thirsty. Good idea, Ben. So Ben will bring bottled water. That's right. Next, we will listen what Edward will bring. That'll be useful for us when we go hiking. Should I bring a sleeping bag? No, that's okay, Edward. I'll bring sleeping bags for everyone. Bring a flashlight so we can see at night. Okay. Bring a flashlight so we can see at night. And the teacher asked, what about tan? 
Listen. I can bring the tents. Oh, thank you, Meryl. What will you bring, Heather? I can bring the tan. Oh, thank you, Meryl. So Meryl will bring tan. And the teachers ask, "What about Heather? What will he bring?" Listen. I'll bring batteries for the flashlight. Oh, and someone needs to bring snacks so we don't get hungry on the bus. So he Heather say, "I will bring battery for the flashlight." Teachers will ask, and someone needs to bring snacks so that they don't get hungry on the bus. And let listen, who will bring the snacks? I'll bring snacks. Thanks, Steve. I'll bring snacks. Thanks, Steve. So Steve was the person who bring snack. How many correct answers do you have? If you have five correct answers, excellent. But if you have two or three or four correct answers, don't worry. Continue learning; you will get better. Let move on to another exercise: reading. Ở trong bài tập này, các con sẽ đọc cái đoạn quảng cáo ở phía bên tay trái của thầy, chỗ con chuột thầy đang rè ở đây. Và sau đó chúng ta sẽ đọc câu hỏi để tìm ra thông tin đúng cho cái đoạn quảng cáo này. Ví dụ câu số 1 thầy cùng làm với các con. Mình đọc qua câu hỏi. Go to Adventure Forest if you want to. Go somewhere close to town. Sleep comfortably and play indoor games. Giờ mình cùng đọc đoạn quảng cáo này. Adventure Forest. Outdoor activities. Stay at our campsite. Only 30 minutes away from Greenwood Town. So number one, you can go somewhere close to town. Mm -hmm. You sleep comfortably. Or you play indoor game. So the correct answer is you can go somewhere close to town because in the advertisement say only 30 minutes away from Greenwood Town. Ở trong bài nói là địa điểm cắm trại chỉ cách cái thị trấn Greenwood có 30 phút. Có nghĩa là go somewhere close to town. Mình đi đến một cái địa điểm nào đó gần với thành phố. Chứ mình không nói về sleep một cách thoải mái, ngủ một cách thoải mái hay là mình chơi những trò chơi trong nhà. Bởi vì ở đây mình nói là chơi những trò chơi ở bên ngoài. Right? Vậy thì câu để mô tả được cái đoạn hội thoại này chính xác nhất đó là câu A. Chúng ta cùng làm các câu còn lại. Number 1. Các con đọc câu hỏi trước nha. Campers have to bring batteries. Campers can buy flashlight there. Campers need flashlights to see at night. Và chúng ta cùng đọc đoạn quảng cáo bên này. Campsite notice. Campers, please remember to bring flashlight so you can see after dark. You can buy batteries at the store. Vậy mình đọc lại câu đầu tiên. Campers have to bring batteries. No, bởi vì they can buy batteries at the store. Câu số 2. Campers can buy flashlights there. À, no, không có thông tin nào nói là campers can buy flashlights. Number three, campers need flashlights to see at night. Và trong bài nói, please remember to bring flashlights so you can see after dark. After dark là sau khi trời tối thì nó tương đương với at night. So number one, mình sẽ chọn đáp án là gì? C. Right. Qua câu số hai. Mình có thể làm theo cách ngược lại, các con đọc đoạn quảng cáo trước rồi chúng ta đọc câu trả lời sau. Cùng làm với thầy câu số 2. Kayaking in the bay, age 10 plus, river rafting, four people max, at least one adult. Mình đọc câu đầu tiên. Anyone can do the activities. Mình xem lại thông tin này có đúng không ạ? Chỉ có age 10 plus, có nghĩa là phải trên 10 tuổi mới làm được việc này. Cho nên đáp án A không chính xác. Câu B, children under 10 years old can go kayaking. Dưới 10 tuổi thì không chơi được hoạt động này. Có vẻ đúng đúng không? Ở đây phải trên 10 tuổi mới được tham gia hoạt động này. Và chỗ này nói dưới 10 tuổi, nghĩa là hai câu này bằng nghĩa với nhau. Mình qua câu C, river rafting is for adults only. À, cái hoạt động này chỉ dành cho người lớn thôi. No. Cái này không, người ta không nói là hoạt động này dành cho người lớn Mà mày phải đăng ký một nhóm 4 người Và tối thiểu phải có một người lớn đi chung Cho nên câu C không chính xác 
Vậy đáp án của câu số 2 sẽ là gì? B. Children under 10 years old can go kayaking. Right. Number 3. Mình có thể làm ngược lại là chúng ta sẽ đọc câu hỏi trước rồi đọc đoạn quảng cáo sau. The weather is very nice in the winter. There isn't much to do. Joe thinks April should go to Adventures Forest. Cùng đọc với thầy đoạn quảng cáo. Hey April, Adventures Forest is great. There are so many fun activities, but you shouldn't go in the winter because of the bad weather. Have a great time, Joe. Now look back in question number one. The weather is very nice in winter. No, did it say the weather is very bad in winter? So it is not correct. There isn't much to do. And the uh, paragraph say there are so many fun activities. So B, incorrect. Joe thinks April should go to Adventure Forest. And then it say Adventure Forest is great. Now the correct answer is C. Very good. Before we do the other activities, let's review the vocabulary we have studied in lesson 1 and lesson 3. You look at the pictures, do you still remember what activities it is? And number 2, what is it? Hiking. Very good. Number 3, what is it? Kayan. Number 4, what is it? Cave. Good. Number five, what is it? Campsite. Right. And number six, Kayat King. We have another vocabulary right here. Let's review with me. You have F for the beach, D for mountain, E, waterfall, C for bait, B, forest, and A for island. Let's do the activities. Ở trong bài tập này, các con sẽ đọc các câu văn sau đây và sau đó dùng chữ cái gợi ý để chúng ta điền từ vào. Các con sẽ dùng các từ vựng mà chúng ta vừa mới ôn lại với thầy để điền vào các câu văn sau đây. Cùng làm với thầy. Number one, these mountains are very beautiful. That's why many people like hiking here. Number two, we don't need to take. Ba ba ba. Because there is tap water at the campsite. So we don't need to bring, we don't need to take, mình có chữ B, and to W, something you can drink. So the answer is bottle water, because there is tap water at the campsite. Right? Number three, Phu Quốc is a very beautiful I, mình có chữ gì bắt đầu bằng chữ I. Island in Vietnam. Very good. Rafting and, à, mình có cái trò chơi nào bắt đầu bằng chữ K. Are both great fun, but raft have more people in the boat. So we have another activity. You start with the letter K. Kayak King. Right. Number five. Oh no, the flash flies isn't working and I don't have any B battery. Number six, I like walking in the because I can see many birds and trees. Ở đâu thì mình có nhiều birds và trees và từ đó lại bắt đầu bằng chữ F. Forest. Very good. And next one, my is very warm. Ở đây mình sẽ có hai từ, một từ bắt đầu bằng chữ S, một từ bắt đầu bằng chữ B. Và câu phía sau về phía sau nè. That's why I like sleeping in my tent. À mình đang nói về ngủ, về chỗ này mình sẽ có hai từ. Cái túi ngủ là gì các bạn? Sleeping bag. Chúng ta sẽ qua bài tập tiếp theo. Trước khi làm phần bài tập tiếp theo, thầy cùng các con ôn lại một số điểm văn phạm chúng ta được học trong unit này. Trước hết các con học về modal verb should, can and can't. Chúng ta dùng should để đưa ra một lời khuyên cho bạn mình nên làm một việc gì đó. You should go to green water cave. Hoặc chúng ta dùng thể phủ định của should là shouldn't để khuyên bạn mình không nên làm gì đó. 
you shouldn't go hiking there. Và khi chúng ta dùng should hay shouldn't thì động từ ở phía sau chúng ta sẽ luôn luôn chia ở hình thức nguyên mẫu, có nghĩa là các con không thay đổi dạng của động từ, không thêm s, không thêm in, không làm bất cứ việc gì cả. Và chúng ta dùng can để nói về một cái possibility. Ví dụ các con có thể nói là I, you can go hiking there. You can go swimming there. You can take pictures there. Và chúng ta dùng thể phủ định của can là can't để nói là chúng ta không thể làm cái gì đó bởi vì việc đó rất là nguy hiểm. Ví dụ, you can't swim in that water. Okay? So we use should and can to give advice or to talk about possibility. Cũng trong bài học này, các con học liên từ so. Uh, liên từ so này chúng ta dùng để nối hai câu văn và để chỉ cho kết quả của một việc gì đó. Ví dụ, I had a cold, so I didn't go to school. I am learning English online, so I need a laptop. For example, right? Bây giờ mời các con cùng làm một bài tập sau đây để chúng ta ôn lại điểm văn phạm trong unit này. Okay, number one. You should go to the beach. It's really is very beautiful. Câu số 1 là câu là mẫu. Mình câu số 2 ha. What can we do in Đà Nẵng or what need we do in Đà Nẵng? Chữ need không hợp lý đúng không các bạn? Rồi chữ cần mới là chính xác. We need to bring a pillow because the campsite doesn't have any or we should bring a pillow because the campsite doesn't have any. Cái này không phải mình đưa lời khuyên mà là một việc bạn cần phải làm. Nên chỗ này mình dùng chữ need. Câu số 4, it's very cold at night. So, or don't bring a jacket. Mình đưa ra một cái result. It's very cold, nên. So this one you use, so. Number 5, you should or you can't swim in the water. It's very dangerous. Một việc gì đó rất là nguy hiểm và bạn không thể làm. So this one you use, can't. Number 6, the campsite has food. So, or should, we don't need to bring any. À, mình cũng đang nói về kết quả. So, you don't need to bring any. And number five, should or need I go in octopus? Mình đang hỏi về một lời khuyên là mình có nên làm việc này vào tháng 10 hay không? So, the answer will be should. That's right. Let's move to another exercise, pronunciation. Chúng ta cùng qua một hoạt động quen thuộc khác về phần phát âm. Các con sẽ tìm ra từ có phát âm khác với các từ còn lại. Dù câu số 1. So this one you say E fishing, E swimming, E kicking. This one I highland. Let's work together for number 2. A bay, A vacation, A jacket, A place. What do you choose? C. Next one. O Phone, old code, old postcard, ah, uh, forest. What do you choose? D. Next one. Hotel, hour, house, hiking. What do you choose? B. Number five. R. Garden. R. Car. R, far, A, bay. What do you choose? D. Number six. Island. S, scuba. S, thirsty. S, forest. What's your answer? Island, right? Because we don't say the s sounds in this word. You did a very good job. We have reviewed everything in Unit 8. Let's move to workbook and do more reviewing. Chúng ta cùng đi qua vở bài tập của Review Unit 8, trang 69. Chúng ta cùng làm bài tập đầu tiên. Bài tập này rất là quen thuộc với các con rồi. Unit 8, Review, Track 39, Page 69, Listening. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. 
Here is an example. You will hear two friends talking about the weekend. What are they planning to do? Where do you think we should go this weekend? We should go kayaking on the North River. How long does it take to get there? It takes two hours by train. That sounds great. The answer is go kayaking. So there's a tick in box A. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. Nancy is telling her mom about her trip. How long does it take to get to New York City by train? When are you going to New York City, Nancy? I'm going next Tuesday, Mom. How long does it take to get there? It takes around two and a half hours by train. Now, listen again. When are you going to New York City, Nancy? I'm going next on Tuesday, Mom. How long does it take to get there? It takes around two and a half hours by train. Chúng ta cùng sửa câu số một luôn nha. How long does it take to go there? And it says it takes two and a half hours. Vậy đáp án của câu số một sẽ là C. Two and a half hours. Right here. Chúng ta cùng làm qua câu số hai. Two. You will hear John and Anne talking about a meeting. What should they bring? Hey, John. Don't forget the meeting tomorrow afternoon. Oh yeah. Thanks for the reminder, Anne. Should we bring our notebooks and pencils so we can take notes? No, I don't think so. We should bring our laptops instead. All right, that makes sense. Now, listen again. Hey, John, don't forget the meeting tomorrow afternoon. Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder, Anne. Should we bring our notebooks and pencils so we can take notes? Should we bring our notebook and pencil so we can take notes? Listen. No, I don't think so. We should. No, I don't think so. And we should bring our laptops instead. We should bring a laptop instead. So the correct answer is C again. Their laptop. Number three. Trong quá trình nghe để các con làm được tốt thì khi các con nghe các con sẽ vừa đọc câu hỏi và vừa tập trung nghe để mình sẽ chọn đáp án luôn. Three. You will hear a student talking about a storm. What did the students have to do? Last year, there was a big storm at school. The lights were turned off for a while. We had to use our cell phone flashlights to get around. Our science teacher even lit candles in the classroom. There was heavy rain outside, so we couldn't go out during the morning break. Now, listen again. Last year, there was a big storm at school. The lights were turned off for a while. We had to use our cell phone flashlights to get around. Our science teacher even lit candles in the classroom. There was heavy rain outside. So okay, so what do the students have to do? They have to use their cell phone flashlight, dùng đèn pin ở điện thoại to go around. So they say, we have to use. The correct answers for number three is B. Four. You will hear two friends talking about their sports club. What are the boys going to do first? Wow, there are so many things to do at our sports club. Oh, what can we do there? We can do some indoor rock climbing. That could be fun. So yes. I think that we have the time to do two things this Sunday. Okay, what else can we do there? We can go on a hiking trip. Okay then, let's start with the rock climbing though. Okay. Now, listen again. Wow. There are so many things to do at our sports club. Oh, what can we do there? We can do some indoor rock climbing. That could be fun. So yes. I think that we have the time to do two things this Sunday. Okay, what else can we do there? We can go on a hiking trip. Okay then, let's start with the rock climbing though. Let's start. This means they will do rock climbing first. So the right answer for number four is A. Next one, number five. Okay. Five. You will hear two friends talking about a trip. Where are the friends going to stay? Let's decide where we will stay for our trip next week. Well, we can stay at a hotel. Sure. I think there's an apartment too. Hmm. Maybe. But where else can we stay? We can stay at my friend's house. 
That sounds nice. Let's do that. All right then. Now, listen again. Let's decide where we will stay for our trip next week. Well, we can stay at a hotel. Sure. I think there's an apartment too. Hmm. Maybe. But where else can we stay? We can stay at my friend's house. That sounds nice. Let's do that. So the right answer for number five is B. Okay. Let's check the answer we have. So number one, C. Two hours and a half. Number two, C. What should they bring? Their laptops. Number three, B. What did the student have to do? Use their cell phone flashlight. Number four, A. What are the boys going to do first? Indoor rock climbing. And number five, B. Where are the friends going to stay? At a friend's house. Very good. Let's move to another exercise. In this exercise, you have to read an email and choose the word to fill in the blank. Let's work together. Hi, Susie. How are you? Are you excited for our camp trip? I think we go to Adventure Island. I think we can. We need. We should. We shouldn't. What do you choose? Should. That's right. I think we should go to the Adventures Island. We can hiking in the forest. So we can go hiking, need hiking, bring hiking, go hiking in the forest, and kayaking in the bay. It sounds great. That's right. I think the green forest caves sounds quite interesting. But I have some more questions. What we do there? What should we do there, or what can we do there? Right, the second one sounds better, right? What can we do there? I really want to go kayaking. How long it take to get there? So how long can it take? How long should it take, or how long does it take? Does right? Does the correct answer? You can go to Adventures Island by boat. It takes an hour. Also. What do we to bring? What do we to bring? So what do we should to bring? What do we can to bring? Both of them are incorrect. What do we need to bring? I'm very excited. Speak to you soon, Jammer. Now let's check the answer. Mm -hmm. So number one, should. That's right. Number two, go, go hiking. Number three, what can we do there? Number four, how long does it take to get there? And number five, what do we need to bring? Okay, wow, we have done all the exercises. Thank you very much for your hard work. You did very well. Thank you. Goodbye, and see you next time.